Amigos de Urbana Play se estrena de Suicide Squad, el escuadrón suicida, por supuesto, de la casa de mis amores de DC. Y hablé con Harley Quinn en persona, con Margot Robbie y con su compañero David Dalmat Chanson, quien interpreta a Polka Dotman. La ven, la viven acá en exclusiva en Urbana Play Movie. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dressed as a court jester. It's coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Arnold. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? Uh, Margo, in this movie, I felt like Harley is unleashed. Uh, do you feel that way? Definitely. I mean, Harley's always unleashed, but particularly when she's been pent up in Belle Reve, you know, she's been in jail. She loves these Suicide Squad missions because she gets let out of jail for a day. And it's always something crazy and insane where she could possibly die. Um, so she is definitely unleashed and you see her, <laughs> you see Harley with the volume turned right up. <laughs> okay, David, when you were offered the, this role, do you say this is a shock? These are his powers, really? Or do you really, uh, really know about him? I didn't know anything about him. And then when I read James' script, I was like, oh my God, this is an amazing, amazing character. But like, if you think about it, Polka Dot Man's powers are actually the coolest um maybe his costume is a bit ridiculous and maybe he's a bit of an emo um you know sad sack but uh the powers are really quite cool okay margo uh, what do you think you still have to explore with harley in future movies or tv show well i would love to see her with so i mean every time harley is put with a different group of people it brings something else out in her Um, so there's a lot of characters that I'd love to see Harley interact with, uh, particularly Poison Ivy, just because I'm a big fan of that relationship in the comics and would love to see it play out on screen. Um, but as far as other aspects of the character explore, I still feel like there's a lot of the, you know, we haven't got to see a lot of the darker side of the Harley-Mr. J relationship. I would be curious to explore that in more depth. But in this movie, she's way past that. She's past Mr. J for once. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he, we, we see we see single Harley in this movie, single, single and looking for love. For uh, is it true that you are taking a break for uh, for her a little bit or? No, I mean I've, to... I've had a break because we shot this movie a little while ago, so I haven't played Harley since this movie. But I um I would love to play her again. I'm ready. Uh, last question for the both of that. Uh, in your mind, the ideal Suicide Squad mission for your characters. You have any? I mean, for Harley, this one was pretty ideal. It had all the elements that she loves about the missions. You know, death-defying odds, cute boys, crazy, ah. crazy cast, uh, crazy squad members. And yeah, big like world ending stakes. Yeah, she she likes all those things. And and you know, she's in a really beautiful location this time around, you know. There's jungles, I'm sure there's a beautiful beach nearby. She loved it. She loved it. Okay. Thank you so much. Saludos desde aquí, desde Argentina. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I didn't let you talk it all day. <laughs> okay. I love the rain. It's like angels are swooching all over us.